How is it going? I recently purchased a brand new toy and there is quite a tiny issue we have. We're gonna talk about the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. And we bought the Moment case and Moment wide lens. However, with the Osmo Mobile 2, there is a slight issue where the balancing doesn't do it properly because your phone with the case tends to go a lot this way. This is the way you are supposed to balance it. You basically face your phone down and then there is an extra adjustment over here. You untighten the screw, you pull out and then that's supposed to help even more to balancing. However, the lens, as you can see, it's way, way too heavy. Moment has their own universal counterweight. However, it says it's available for pre-order, but it's not coming until sometime in June. It, there's no specific date. Anyhow, we're leaving on the 3rd, go to San Francisco and then to Iceland. So I need something until then to fix this. Because if you try to turn it on, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Whoopsies. I um, found this guy, his name is Mike Morini, double I at the end. He seems like he just started, he had an incredible idea, which I had to try it out. Um, however, it doesn't quite fit my needs. And I'll get to that just in a second. Uh, let me show you what he suggested to buy to make your own counterweight and then uh, I will link him up here. You can go follow him, you can go leave a comment, you can see his brilliant idea first and if that doesn't work for you, then you can try mine. So Mark went on Amazon or he had these pieces already around his house. This is a cold shoe mount for a camera and this is a hot shoe mount. However, the cold shoe, Mark adjusted it using this right over here, anchor it on the side bracket of the Osmo 2, and then he attached this and then screwed it in um, as weights. So unfortunately, it's sticking out too much and you cannot weigh, you cannot add any more than three. We anchored it over here, then he tightened it up. So you you can possibly, you know, tighten it with your hand. That's what I would suggest because you don't want to damage this. It's not working perfectly. And I need something that doesn't stick out as much and works better. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate the idea. It was definitely worth a try. But here is my idea. So just a regular pill jar from your pharmacy. I got two of them. However, I will be using this one. I cleaned the residue off of it after I took the label away. Take out the piece inside of the cap because that helps you secure the content you're gonna put inside of the container. Just pop it out. Then you can trash this, you don't need it. All you need is a little rubber that was inside of the cap because it basically seals it. Now, I thought about this and the best I found was getting quarters. And this is a quarter slip, the one you get from the bank. It's also free, you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. All right, so now that you got your quarters all in here, um, you're gonna go ahead and fold this also. Keep in mind, I got 23 quarters in here. You might be asking why 23, I don't know. It's just that I'm gonna cut this and I don't want it to be that big. So this is like perfect size considering the bracket size. So as you can see, that right there, you, you wouldn't want to have it bigger than that. It's already looking out of place. Just you have an imagination now, so you can kind of look at this your own way. I'm gonna take the quarters, I'm gonna put the quarters in here, then you have to 
kind of secure the cordis so they don't wobble around after you cut this container. So you cut the container and then this is basically what Moment did. They have their own weight, they cut a line here and a line here and then they give you a strap to secure it to your bracket. Okay, we're gonna cut the container now uh, and I got a ruler over here just to measure this. I'm gonna cut it to about an inch and a half. My container is three inches, cut it exactly in half. Shouldn't go higher than that. Number one, I'm gonna use this to hold it in place. And I got this right here. By the way, this is Nina's house, so I brought all of this in a box for my house. Just use a knife. It's a lot easier and probably faster. And you're just gonna smoothen it out a little bit, making it all even, get the residue out of the way. I realized there is something at the bottom that basically just goes inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this off from the bottom. Took one quarter out, that only leaves 22 quarters, make it easier for you. Um, and it's fitting perfectly in here. I'm gonna try to put some stickers over it to cover the ugly yellow. I have some GoPro stickers, Moose Jaw, some other whatever stickers. Uh, you can cover all of this in that. Next thing we're gonna do, you want to make one cut on this side and one cut at the other side because if you're gonna take your strap, you do want to have it secure. You don't want just to tie it up like this because that's gonna slide. You want to put it through the first hole, then take it out through the second hole, and then you want to secure it to your Osmo. So first one, we're gonna try to do it right about here, and then you should measure just in case. You don't want to make it too small or um, too big. You can take your roller and about one inch apart, but don't measure it on top, measure it from the bottom. One inch. That's about here. So that's where we're gonna have our next. And then you want to make those a little bit more spacious for your strap to go in. Just gonna remove the excess plastic for a better look. I found myself this strap, which was from my cable TV, or it goes around the house. Um, they sell these ones at Best Buy. This is the Best Buy brand insignia. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet, but they are the same size. If this one doesn't hold up properly, I can use this one. I don't need this tab over here. I can just cut it off and get my strap. So you want to take this and you want to feed it through the holes that you made. At this point, you want the holes to be on the outside of the arm so that when you feed it through, you have more layaway and it's more secured like that to the arm. You don't want to do it this way because that's too close to the arm. You don't also have as much security and you are gonna work with less of a strap. Nina's mom hired a private contractor to put the TV up. By the way, we tried, but the wall is about to collapse. <laughs> she hired someone now. Anyhow, so as I was saying, once you fit this strap over here through the container, you don't want to do it this way because you don't have as much security, more wobbling around. You want the strap to be around the container. So let's go ahead and feed the strap through the holes, feed it through, feed it out, there you go. Now this strap over here, it's even nicer that it gives you the extra cushion because the quarters are not as wide as the plastic, you cap it out. You don't want your quarters 
to be moving inside of your container. Look at that. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> it is kind of if you put a lot of pressure on it. Um, however, I got myself some Gorilla Glue. And if you don't care that much about your $5.50, which is what 22 quarters are, you can glue the cap back over here. So along the side, you can use this and you'll glue it and this will help it stay on there forever. For now, I will not glue this. You can tape it. That's just to test it out. You can just use uh, electrical tape to see, you know, if you like it or either if you don't. Let's go ahead and anchor this on. You want to pull on this all the way as much as you can. Don't forget to tighten it. Then you take your newly built device and then I will strap it on the outside just because I want to have easier access. And there you go. So now, because this is probably a lot heavier than the actual uh, lens which is the way you want it to be if you cannot get this to match the weight of the lens you want this to be heavier you do not want it to be lighter so what you do now you basically untighten this you take the arm and you push it back inside until you get it to balance correctly Keep in mind that when you adjust it with the screw untightened, it's not perfectly balancing. So actually I readjusted it. So it's all even. Moment of truth. Let's see what this bad boy can do now. Hey, look at that. This was a way that I thought about that was super simple, not so time consuming, probably under 15 minutes if you have all the tools and the tiny products and everything else. In addition, it was free. All you need is 22 quarters. Okay. It was kind of free because, you know, this is not like a savings account where it gives you like 2%. So your $5.50 won't really be making any money. But hey, you are saving $32 and you got yourself a counterweight before the moment releases theirs. Um, this is really cool and I like it, but I found a second thing around my house the other day, but it looks a little bit better and I'm probably just gonna go with that, but I will have two. so. If this isn't, if I lose this, I can use the other one or vice versa. But don't forget to put some stickers on this or, you know, you can make it all artsy so it doesn't look like a pill bottle. I found this around my house the other day, which is a piece of metal and it's pretty heavy. And they sell these guys at Best Buy. You basically take this and it has a hole where you loop it through. Just like that. And then... You loop around the second one. And it has a piece of plastic at the end so you cannot pull any longer. <clears throat> but it stays there. It's all secured. There you go. Now, this is not as heavy as my quarters. So in this case, you have to loosen the bracket. And you have to pull on the arm to readjust it. So these are the two things I found. I realize not everybody has a weird piece of metal. And so now I have two things. This setup was the Pixel 2 XL with wide angle lens moment specifically, DJI Asmo 2. This is not a paid advertisement from any of these companies, neither from the pharmacy down the street. We just needed something like this for our trip to Iceland because we do adventure quite a bit if you like this video at all please comment down below give us thumbs up and follow us because we always do vlogs like this or little films to showcase different things from our travel adventures or for our travel adventures also if you found a different way of doing this that may be easier nicer 
I don't know. You tell me down below comments.